Uh, this, this can happen, but not common. But uh, infection went in here and ate up the whole bone here now. So. Okay, so we have Jason here. Hi, Jason. How are you doing? I haven't seen Jason for a couple of years now almost, right? Yeah. Yeah. We, he had a little uh, ulcer that we uh, cured. We got mm -hmm. better, right? Mm -hmm. So we were really good about it. He got better. But now he came in with this problem. As you can see, this toe is really swollen. You can see this side, there's a little scab that I'm going to clean up. But um, he said there was a little corn here mm -hmm. and a little hole there or something, right? That was about 10 days ago? Yeah. Okay. And then he, uh, you went to urgent care. I went to urgent care about, that was uh, about four days ago. Oh, four days ago. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of stuff came out. It was really swollen, right? Yeah. And then so he came in. So I was alarmed because this is, he's diabetic. And this was really swollen and red. It just didn't look right. So when I got x-rays, as you can see here, um, he had an infection apparently. And um, let me see a straighter here. You see these bones right here are all eaten away by the infection. Um, this is, obviously this can happen, but not common. But uh, infection went in here and ate up the whole bone here now. So. Now, uh, it's not as bad as it was uh, four days ago, but I'm gonna clean this out a little, and then we may have to clean out all the inside because if you don't do that, then you can eat away more bones, and that's a big problem, and then the infection just won't go away. So he's taking antibiotics right now, but we need to reassess the whole thing. Let me clean this out a little bit here. I don't think it's open here. This is close to here, but uh, this is a potential big problem because um, if the infection is still inside then it can it can eat away the bone and which definitely we don't want that so I was just telling uh, Jason he can't stay away from me too long I know he was seeing other doctors but uh, you know I want to make sure that he follows up and then he's able to see us regularly to prevent any corns and things like that when people have corns then he can Normally it's not a problem, but if, when you're diabetic and when you have corns, then it can open up and cause infection. And as you can see, it can cause infection in the bone and literally like eat away that bone, <clears throat> which is very dangerous because it can keep going. So we want to prevent any further progression. We probably have to go in there and clean out the whole area so that it won't uh, cause any more problems. Actually, this area doesn't look that bad, Jason. I don't think it's um, open right now. But I'm just cleaning it out. You need to start soaking in Epsom salt. Okay. We'll give you instructions so you can heal this area real quickly. And then um, we have to schedule where we need to, we have to clean this out. And then that remains to be seen, but uh, that's how we need to get a little more permanent solution rather than waiting for it, you know? So, any pain right there? No? A little bit. A little bit tender? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, this side looks good. You have a little scab here that we need to take off. That's a big piece. Let me see if things are open, which is not. Oh, it looks good. That part looks really good. I was concerned that that may be open, but it's not. So, so that part looks good. Let me do it just a little bit more to make sure that this part is not open. And then I'm going to put some medicine here and then we have to order more tests to see how how it looks inside. You don't feel sick right now though, right? No. You don't feel fever, chills, or anything like no. that? Okay. So we may just monitor too, rather than going in. If, you're, if you have an active infection, then you would have fever, chills, and things like that, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're not, then, then you may be okay to just, just kind of maintain it and keep track of what's happening, you know? Okay. So this part looks good, nothing open. This part wasn't open. This part is not open either. I think the culprit was there was a corn here. 
right? So that's why it's very important for diabetics to keep their corns, you know, trimmed down because it can it can open up and cause problem like this, right? So we usually see diabetics either every month or every two months to prevent any kind of ulcerations and things like that here, okay? So there you have it, and we're gonna see what happens from here, and we'll let you know how things go. Thank you, Jason, for letting us film this.